Three styles, one tool. I'm gonna to show you how. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, it's Rebecca. Today I am going to show you this thermal styling brush and how I use it and how I think it's probably the most versatile tool you could have. Whether your hair is short, long, coarse, curly, straight, you name it, I'm gonna show what I've been doing and then you can decide, does it work for you? Uh, hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Rebecca and thanks so much for stopping by. I do hair videos from time to time. You guys always ask for them, so it's kind of fun to do them. I love makeup, but I'm also kind of obsessed with hairstyling and yeah, this is my hair. Um, I actually, I have fine hair, but I have a lot of it. Um, and it is chemically, like this is, this is highlights, this is bleach. This is second day hair. I washed my hair yesterday. So I actually use the Tymo, this is the Tymo Thermal Styling Brush, and they sent it to me, and that was so nice of them. So this video isn't sponsored, but they did gift me this. So this is the 1.7 inch barrel, so just a smidge over an inch and a half, and it has a ceramic barrel with the, the brush. It also has these like kind of plasticky teeth that do a nice job of gripping and detangling. And it's got a swivel cord. It's also it's got three settings for heat, and it's dual voltage. Gosh, I wish I had this when I went to Europe this winter. Ah! I will leave all the links and uh, codes in the description box down below. Also, to let you know, I have used a heat protectant. After washing, when my hair is towel dried, I always spray a heat protectant on. When I first washed my hair yesterday, I did a rough dry and I used this to smooth out any of the hairs just to kind of give it a soft, manageable bounce and kind of just help my bangs and my side fringe just be more manageable because otherwise I just kind of have that sort of frizzy broom hair. I'm going to plug it in. I think what's funny about this is I kept imagining so first, I kept imagining air to blow out of it and you have to have your hair completely dry. This is not any kind of like dryer product. Like it's not going to, this isn't a tool that, you know, blows hot air or anything like that. It heats up and using the the brush and the barrel it gives a it's it's like doing a blowout with a hair you know with like a round brush and your blow dryer but don't use this on wet hair got it okay cool so it has three settings there's the um the first hang on so this is orange and that's the highest setting, and I believe that's like three, 390. And then white is the lowest setting if you've got very fine hair. Yellow is in between, and I'm gonna do orange. Orange, red, whatever. So it'll blink when it's heating up, and then when it's done heating, it will um, just glow. This also has about, I think, a 30 minute auto shut off. So if the tool has been sitting without being moved or touched for 30 minutes, it will shut itself off. Oh boy, do we need that. I'm gonna show you how I style my second day hair. While that heats up, I'm going to uh, section off my hair. With a thermal brush like this, any kind of brush tool, sectioning your hair and using smooth sections is very important. And then that way you don't risk getting anything tangled or wrapped around the barrel. I know there's all kinds of, I'm sure there's all kinds of fail videos doing that and people love to complain. <laughs> I am going to make sure that this is all combed through. I also make kind of these spiral waves and just like I would with a clamp on curling iron, I wrap my hair around the barrel. I let it sit for just a few seconds, just like I would a curling iron. And then I kind of 
spin it. I'm just sort of twisting while I let my hair go through the comb. And see, you get this wave. You know, it's just kind of a nice little smooth curl. And we can keep doing that. Dog is judging. I'm going to do the same on this side. I like to let it just sort of sit for a second, heat the hair really lock in that style and then start to twist and it doesn't tangle and it just so easily pulls through your hair. See? Gonna resection. Again, you wanna make sure you're combing through your hair. <laughs> if you wanted to add more style spray, any kind of styling product that works on dry hair for heat styling, go right ahead. Okay, so I'm making sure it's neat and smooth and I'm wrapping it around the the brush don't want to let sit there too long but start to twist while you are releasing the hair yeah this is going to give very soft waves like really just this is not going to give you curls. This is not going to give you kind of these spiral waves. This is a very soft style to just kind of add a little something to hair. My hair, especially second day hair, it, it just needs some shape, you know? It's just kind of all wonky from sleeping on it or from putting it up in a ponytail to wash my face, stuff like that. So I like to just kind of really be casual I also like to leave the tool the longest at the top where my hair is stronger versus the ends. So the reason I kind of pull it through while I'm twisting is so that it's not on the ends for a long time. And that's why I think I like a tool like this more than I like a clamp, um, a curling iron that has, you know, the clamp barrel because then you are, um, you're not uh, exposing your hair for to uh, heat for so long. All right. So like I said, it's pretty casual style I'm doing. I'm going to make sure this piece is You can also just kind of pause while you're twisting and combing it through and it'll give just that much more style, kind of heat, curl, concentration. See, it really protects the ends because they are not clamped inside of, you know, two, <laughs> two plates of either titanium or ceramic or whatever it is, right? So it's just kind of nice that it can kind of, it just can comb through. Look how cute that is. Okay, I'm gonna keep going, keep going. 
Talk less, smile more. Here we go. This one up. All right, you want your style to just cool for a few minutes. Make sure this way it'll set. So this is sort of the first style just being freshly blown out, smooth, right? Straightforward. This one, just like a little bit more, a little more wave, a little more sass. Okay, so for my last style I'm going to show you is a little bit of an updo. And I think it's super fun to do it this way. I like to make sure I've got some side pieces. I go a little bit of the, the Bridget Bardot kind of feel. You want to make sure you've got kind of an angle from your jaw to the top of your head. I like to push it forward a little bit. All right, so now I'm gonna take, I'm gonna wrap it really tight. Around my finger. And I have a French pen and if you've not, you're not familiar with a French pen, they're really awesome. They're kind of like this curved hairpin. I'm gonna try to do this for you guys. You pull it over the twist, pull it over and stick it in. <laughs> just like that. I'm gonna show you how I do the front section. I turn the hate down just a little bit. So I like to have the key is to pull the tool forward towards the face, kind of angled like so. I don't know what that is, 45 degrees? I don't know. Um, <laughs> so you can either, there's a number of ways you can do this. You can do this uh, if you want your bangs to just be kind of like, I don't know if they call this French girl where you have more of a solid bang across your forehead, like so. And then you can use this tool to just really help smooth that. Because I've got kind of the, if you want to go for the middle part, So there's that. And I think this depends on your cowlicks. So I have a widow's peak, I have a cowlick right here. So my bangs behave very differently for me, <laughs> especially depending on if they're neat, if I need a trim, you know, if they're getting kind of heavy. So sometimes going forward and down helps to just do a nice little swoosh just a little bit and then it kind of, it can really train away from the cowlick because my hair just wants to stick up. Okay, so there's that. And then you can really more do a more emphasized like a, a curtain bang or a bottle bang and take the tool and you wanna pull forward at an angle what I love about this brush more than like a clamp, the clamp kind of gives you an 80s. It's more dated. It's more, it's, it's, it's a bit, uh, how do I explain it? <laughs> I 
there. So the clamp, when you're doing this with a clamp curling iron, you might get like a funky little, little dent. Whereas if you do it this way, with a bear with a brush you don't have to worry about that So I'm letting that just kind of cool and set. I'm not touching it, okay? If your hair is longer and it's kind of flopping over like here, it's really cute to curl it. My hair is short, so I don't have anything left to curl. But you can absolutely pull through and curl some of the ends. If you have short hair, sometimes just taking a nice little clip. This is just a little tiny little butterfly and just clipping it clipping my little baby hairs neck the nape hairs just underneath the the pin the french pin and this is it this is it you guys how about that oh my gosh that's really cute <laughs> um oh wow see look you can even like really take it take it more messy if you want you can add some texturizer, hairspray, you name it. I like kind of how it frames my face. So there you go. Well, this was so much fun. I love my time out. I, I just think that it does such a good job smoothing my hair. It's such a quick tool and it's not damaging. Um, so I can just do a rough blow dry, smooth this through in like one minute, two minutes done and then I have to smooth hair um, and it's gentle enough that I can use it on second day hair and I don't have to worry about further damage and I love it so there you go alrighty well thanks so much for watching I hope this was fun and I would love it if you subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and feel free to stick around look at some playlists I don't know you know whatever okay thanks so much take care I'll see you next time bye